Design's a really loaded word. I, I don't know what it means. And so we don't really talk about design a lot around here. We actually just talk about how things work. Um, most people think it's how they look, but it's not really how they look, it's how they work. I think Steve is a design champion by action, not by talking about design. It's that he's a collaborator, that he really understands design, um, not academically, but as a participant. Steve not only is a champion of design, but creates an environment for designers that's conducive to producing terrific work. Everyone says, you know, I want to make a great product, or I want to make a great movie, or whatever they're doing. Uh, so there's no difference there, but there's a big difference in the outcomes. When we were developing the new iMac, we were at a point when we had a, a couple of solutions that, I mean, at the time, I think we, yeah, we thought they were good. But we had that sinking feeling, you know, when you start to, you, you, you are aware that you're trying to convince yourself something's actually better than in your heart you really know that it is. Sometimes you just have to look at yourself and go, you know, it's just not really great. It's okay. It's good. But let's not fool ourselves and call it great. Steve really felt that we could do better and we, we all realized we needed to. I mean, that's a hard, hard call to make. You know, we're willing to throw something away because it's not great and try again when all of the pressures of commerce and, and uh, are at your back saying, no, you can't do that. Steve is so much more than a supporter of design. He not only has a very clear sort of sense of vision and sense of the future, but has this sort of um, unnerving ability to describe the future in a way that's very inclusive, in a way that draws people from many different disciplines sort of in to share this sense of what this vision could be.